are you today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, yes, I am super, super excited for this. Uh, I do love my boys here, Bill and Ted. They are so much fun, and I'm so glad that we're going to be watching this together. The first movie, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, released in 1989. This was a, a big part of um, <laughs> my early life, if you will. Uh, I just I just love these guys and I kind of wish I lived in their universe, um, which seemed to be fun and exciting and interesting. I mean, they were doing time, tra they were tra time traveling, but um, without the pesky uh, little detail of actual logistics and reality, they, they, they had fun with it. So uh, that, that was one thing that I absolutely loved about this. Do let me know. Oh, look. Um, yes, I was just going to ask if you guys could tell me if you can hear me. And Keith has answered my question. Uh, it says, I can hear you among all of the new members. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. 
Um, yes, we have some uh, very cool things happening in the chat. So let me get to it. Um, first up, first message on the leaderboard is from Putin's cat. Hey, how are you today? Says party on nerds. <laughs> and Sonic Mojo says, where are my nerds at? Yes. <laughs> and Joseph Begay says party on. And also Joseph Begay has gifted us with 10 retro nerd girl memberships. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, let's find out who those memberships are, um, have been gifted to. Let's see, let's see. Um, well, um, we have a simultaneous gifting from also Unicorn Rampant Studio. <laughs> so let me see uh, who got who got gifted what from who. <laughs> All right, so we've got um, let's see, Gavin Blackburn got a a, a subscription. Congratulations, Gavin! Uh, it's Courtney's Fellowship of Oddballs uh, got a uh a subscription um a membership <laughs> sorry about that um we've got um bilbo bolsonario um got one uh jam cal x got one rob schwitzer got one lisa got one ben schuster got one uh barry on got one hey barry on you got a you got a membership uh geek legion of doom also got a membership let's see who else tony waz got it um also pat got one alan got one carl Goodet got one katar lal hey katar uh you got one as well uh carl uh Desimone. We've got Jeff C in the house. Uh, it got one as well. Uh, Stuart also got one. Uh, Real Operation, oh, sorry, Real Operative X got one. Let's see. Dave Moneybags got one. These names are very interesting. <laughs> and it looks like Strath Eden also got one. Oh, some very brand new names. I've never, some of these names I've never uh, seen on the channel before. So welcome to the memberships. Uh, the memberships last 30 days. Um, I believe that, um, let's see. Uh, Joseph Begay tried to explain this. Yes, membership, gifted memberships uh, uh, are only last 30 days. So they only last 30 days. And then after that point, if you want to continue your membership, uh, you'll have to um, actually add it on yourself. But if you are so inclined to uh, definitely want one and um, don't have the funds for it, why don't you uh, make sure to be one of the top people that are interacting with the channel and that is i believe the way that they choose the who gets a gifted membership so if you're really active on the channel you will be uh, most likely one of the first selected uh, so thank you so much guys um i have to give a special thank you to joseph begay let's get one uh really cool thank you from me <laughs> I always get so happy when these happen. And uh, Unicorn Rampant Studio, thank you so very much as well. And here is your special thank you. <laughs> yes oh my gosh this really really feels like a party today and um let's see what else is going on joseph says bring on the party yes <laughs> simultaneously gifted definitely wow that's really awesome thank you guys i i really appreciate that that really means a lot to me and unicorn 
says, uh, just sending the love. I've never seen this movie and I never want to watch it as much as I love everything that it represents to some degree. Oh, yeah, I have a list of movies <laughs> that uh, that I, I don't ever want to see. And uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, uh, I definitely want to would love to learn the reasons why. But um, I sometimes that that happens. Um, and, and, uh, Joseph Gay says, good minds think alike, uh, a unicorn rampant studio. So cool. So cool. Um, and unicorn says, and of course, like Hollywood, uh, dog lover and chief of, uh, a young Ken, uh, Ken, Keanu. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. He was so young in this. He was such a precious little baby. Uh, <laughs> that's another reason why I, why I want to see it. I just want to see the two of those little boys, you know, they're so cute there. And, um, yes. And yes, similar, similar line, lines think alike. Uh, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. And Unicorn also says, I will be listening in, on, and off. Everyone, big hugs and take care of, uh, and while I take care of my, uh, the dogs. Yes. Yes. Give them all kisses for me. <laughs> and um, uh, Unicorn also says, Miss You Tuesday Retro. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for thinking of me. Yes. Uh, Tuesday, um, the Gargoyles video or live stream got shut down. And it was, it was, I would say that live stream was cursed <laughs> it was like literally cursed and so i was like i'm out of here okay i'm gonna have to do this next week and next week we'll, it'll be back um on track and it should be just fine we'll uh just had a, a couple of hiccups last tuesday and uh next tuesday should go uh without a hitch and also again joseph begay has gifted the channel 20 bucks thank you so very much uh you guys you're just amazing and i do have a special thank you for that as well and since we're um we we have keanu uh in the movie here's here's keanu <laughs> I, always, I love that clip uh yes 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 and um goodness wish i am so um i i'm beside myself and uh thank you so very much and uh taylor swift greater than disney star wars and mcu Matt G in the house. I see your waves. Hello. <laughs> i love those little guys i i do i think they're so cute and it says hello and Putin's cat says the earth needs its hair brushed. Oh, <laughs> is, is it too uh, glowy back there? <laughs> and um, Joseph Gay is agreeing with Putin's cat. Uh, let's see. And uh, Jeff says, uh, it, it says, uh, retro nerd girl. <laughs> yes, hello. Uh, how are you today, Jeff? And uh, let's see. Uh, and and joseph is saying that the sound uh is like excellent oh awesome <laughs> excellent <laughs> yeah uh yes uh and so you know every once in a while i i i mix up um bill and ted with um uh the other two guys who say um excellent <laughs> sometimes uh <laughs> Wayne, uh, Wayne, and uh, I forgot his friend's name, but uh, Wayne, Wayne's World from Wayne's World. Um, but uh, yes, Jeff is thanking uh, Unicorn for the membership. Awesome! You're you're part of the club, the secret club now, Jeff. And also um, on Mondays, they usually have a video. Hopefully, I'll have one this Monday. But there's tons of back catalog stuff that if you want to go through and see some of the secret reviews that i've done uh, that nobody knows about but my secret members so <laughs> let's see awesome 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 
And Putin's cat says, how can 20 gifts, gifts go out with only eight watching? Well, what happens is that it, it goes to the whoever is the most, not just the people who are watching, it goes out to the people who are the most active on the channel. So if you comment, you're watching all the videos, they, it, it gives it gives it out to people who are like not here, but they, they're active. So I think I think that's the way it's working. So, uh, if you by chance have an account that is considered a, an organization, which um, my I don't know why or how it it did that to me, but my account is like you you don't get selected for memberships. I know this really drives me insane because um, like I I want to you know I I want people to certain people to get the memberships but they they can't get the memberships because they're considered um a or an organization i tried to fix that in my own account and i can't figure out how to do it so it's just one of those weird things that happen um and i don't i don't know how to fix it oh i better catch up with the chat um And uh, Jeff says, like, it, 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 it's random. Yeah, there is a randomness to it as well. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Putin's cat says, YouTube math is bizarre. It is. It is it's bizarre. <laughs> I, 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 for real. <laughs> and Stumprat is here. Oh, so nice to see you, says my sweet retro girl. Excellent hugs. <laughs> Great to see you, Stumprat. And um, Joseph uh, Gay says, uh, subscribers should check often for gifted memberships. They should, yeah, they really should. Uh, and I and I I was hoping that YouTube would have a way of like alerting people, like, hey, you got a membership uh, for thirty days, and and tell people the rules. But I don't think they all get the rules. So it's kind of yeah, we we got to do all the heavy lifting. Uh, let's see. And uh, some is like you, you rock, Joseph. Yes, yeah, so you do. And um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that's so sweet, Jeff. <laughs> the most beautiful nerd girl I've ever seen, <laughs> or, or known. Thank you. You're you're a darling. Thank you. Um, and uh, just because I said, will you ever have? Uh, you will. You never have to thank me, retro nerd girl always glad to help out the community oh uh, i i think i have to because it's part of my nature <laughs> i can't help it i'm always very grateful for everything and i really try um not to take anything for granted so i definitely um well i absolutely adore saying thank you it's my it's my pleasure to say thank you so thank you very much and um uh and uh, Putin's cat, you really good. <laughs> the most uh, beautiful woman ever. I think my mom will have something to say about that. Like, excuse me. <laughs> and Moonbeam is here. Is this, uh, am I on time? Yes, you are. Yeah, we haven't gotten started yet. And um, and and tells me about the banner. I, well, I'm not <laughs> quite ready for the banner yet. But we're yeah, we're about to. We'll we'll be getting to the banner. Um, and Joseph says, uh, currently uh, bringing Legend 1985 to my Plex server for future watch party. Oh wow, well, yeah. Did we did we ever do Legend, guys? I I I'm I think I think we did. Did we do Legend? Let me just check really quick. Let me let me check. Um. Because um, I think we did, or maybe we didn't. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, nine months ago, <laughs> we did. We did. Uh, we did. Uh, legend. Oh man, yeah. Uh, so great. That was. That's a, a such a great movie. Um, and let's see. And Moonbeam says Keanu before the Matrix. That's right. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Putin's cat says uh, Kiana was in parenthood the same year. Oh, really? I did not know that. And, oh, that's so sweet. Pepe did nothing wrong, says, uh, looking very beautiful, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, I don't mind you saying. That's very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and DJ Play Nice is here, says, wee. <laughs> And uh, let's see. And some says, uh, yeah, the gargoyles do just too tired last Tuesday. LOL. You know, I I got started with it, and stuff was going wrong. The technology wasn't acting right, and like I wasn't sure that I had the right like video. It it was a hot mess. And that's when I was like, okay, it's cursed. Bye. <laughs> and and it, it wasn't showing me any numbers for anyone watching. I was like, okay, there's nobody here. So let's, let's just, you know, let's kill this. Um, I'm sure people would have showed up later, but it's just one of those moments where I was like, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was going anywhere. Um, but uh, Putin's cat says, in the future, I hope they create a chocolate whipped cream interview style. Uh, oh, okay. I'm <laughs> not sure what that means. <laughs> and Moon says, uh, before Bill and Ted, Keanu Reeves was in Babes in Toyland with Joy Barrymore. Yes, I, I like that movie. And Joseph Gay says, just finished Fallout series last night. It was fantastic. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I've been hearing some good things about it, and so I'm, I'm, I might have to try it out and see. I might have to try it out and see. And some rat says I can't find a free copy of Bill and Ted's, but I'll be lurking. Okay. <laughs> and DJ, uh, play nice. Oh, was guessing the two Beavis and Butthead, but Garth, yes, uh, Wayne and Garth, yes. And uh, Jeff says, uh, Keanu Reeves and Retro Nerd Girl make a cute couple if they were together. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> uh, and uh, Stunt Red says, yes, LOL. <laughs> but I think, I think Keanu Reeves has a girlfriend already that they've been together for a long time now. And so uh, I wish him the best of luck. I, I love love stories and I like theirs. <laughs> I like theirs love story. So I wouldn't ever want to get in the way of anybody's love story. And Unicorn Rapid City is just, technically anyone could be a cute couple with either of them. So <laughs> good call. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> it's only because I was too serious as a child and I feel as if, uh, feel like if I watched this movie, I would have too much fun and never be serious again. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. And um, Joseph Begay, oh, thank you so much. Uh, says, remember to like the stream. Yes, please do like the stream uh, if you're enjoying it right now. Uh, because a lot of these, um, you know, YouTube makes a lot of decisions on pay the way people react to uh, various uh, videos and live streams. So hitting the like button will allow YouTube to say, hey, we're, we're going to show more of this, this person's content to the public. So it gets the, it gets the word out and also helps um, how they treat my channel. <laughs> and so uh, DJ Play Nice says um, there's an algorithm to dis distribute the gift memberships if they aren't all claimed during the live. Yes. Um, and Unicorn says, I'm a very serious person. <laughs> and uh, Putin's cat says, uh, the first Wayne's World skit was February 18, uh, 1989. Bill and Ted was released February 17, 1989. Hmm. It, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> Joseph Gay says, I'm not a serious person. <laughs> I'm sure like we all have different um, dynamics about ourselves. <laughs> and Unicorn uh, uh, Stump <laughs> Brett says, uh, Unicorn, we only live once. And uh, let's see. 
and DJ Play Nice says there's a notification if you received one via email. Oh, okay, great, 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 great. Okay, great, that's awesome. And Stemba says, uh, what teeth whitener do you use, gorgeous? Oh, uh, thank you. I, I don't use teeth whitener. Um, and uh, I think I think the this screen makes my teeth look whiter because of the light. Um, they're pretty, they're not, they're like regular colored. <laughs> they're like different, you know, colors, like from real people. When <laughs> you look at real people and you see their teeth, they're like different shades of like, yellow and um well, what's the color um like cream colored and not not like bright white but i think with the light shining on it, it looks like my teeth really look white which is that means i match everybody else that's on youtube <laughs> thank you that that's actually a really great compliment so thank you and jeff says uh retro Not girl youtube sent me a notification that i was gifted a membership like 20 minutes ago oh yeah Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you're very welcome, Reginald. Absolutely wonderful. That I'm glad. Yes. Um, and uh, Keith A says you must have accept free. Uh, you you must have to ex uh, accept free memberships. Turn on your uh, profile. Yeah, I I have. How can I say this? If you if you're a long time ago. They set people's profiles up differently when they used to have this whole thing with um, Google. Um, they were doing, uh, I can't explain what it is now. Like they, they had this integration a long time ago with Google where they were trying to make it a social media platform, sort of like Facebook. And you had to say certain things about your profile. And I think that carried over because in my profile right now, it considers me an organization and not a single entity. And so that's what's keeping me from getting memberships from other places where I'm, I'm obviously like really um, uh, I'm very active on. So, so whenever they give out memberships, I don't get any. So. <laughs> Oh, and I'm like, oh man, uh, and so yeah, that I, they, it's for certain people, but I, it doesn't sh it doesn't even show up for me. And Putin's cat says, "Is your my mom single?" Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not sure if she's single. I'll have to ask her. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, do you believe in who Hoover Boyle? Oh, I'm not sure of that. Oh, Hooverville. Uh, what is that? And uh, the unicorn says, I believe you did a watch party. I did, yes. I, we got it. Uh, red Tim Curry with black horns plus witches and things. Yes. <laughs> uh, cause of the puppy interviews they make actors do. Um, oh, okay. With um, the, uh, yes, with, Okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, and uh, Joseph says, in regards to legend, in my frame of mind, nine months is equivalent to 10 years. LOL. <laughs> At least. <laughs> it's there for my next home watch party. Awesome. Yes. Oh, gosh. That, that movie is so good. It is really good. Uh, and uh, let's see. Wayne Holmes, is, oh, he's so sweet. He says, you are so cute, but with a sad face. <laughs> I guess that's bad. <laughs> well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> and, uh, oh, Lance Chaffin is here. Um, let's see. Saying hi to everybody. It's good to see you, Lance. Um, and let's see. And uh, Putin's cat says, yes, I only turned on my gift setting recently after a year of being excluded. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, Sorry about that. Well, it's on now, yes. It's on now. 
uh and uh darth play that was here says be excellent to each other yes isn't that a wonderful statement <laughs> be excellent to each other and uh and Putin's glass says Jane Whedon, uh, Wyden, or is it Wilden? Uh, yeah, she's in here too, playing Jane of Joan of Arc. And uh, let's see. Oh, 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 oh! Je thank you, Jeff, because I didn't. <laughs> the the <laughs> Jane is being shy. That should be a shy face. Oh, I get it. I get it now. I get it now. now. Uh, and Putin's cat says, "Yeah, it is. I'm a I'm a member everywhere now." Oh, awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look to see if they made any changes in my um in, in my thing too, because it's really weird. Uh, uh, Yes, and she's also a member of the Go Go's. Yes, uh, everybody. Yes, she, Lance and Putin's cat. Yep, she's she's fantastic. I thought she was really cute in this video, uh, in this movie. All right, so we're down to the um, the bottom. Uh, uh, and DJ Play Nice says Weedlin. Uh, guitar player for the go-go's yes uh and uh lance is giving kisses to the sun brat this is awesome all right while you guys go on with that i am going to get started with the show <laughs> uh first of all i'm gonna get the banner together so let's see um Let's get that typed in. Bill and Dad's excellent adventure. I got to put the year nineteen eighty nine. There we go. We got the banner. Ticker Tade banner. Now let's get our screen fit, fitted. Uh, there we go with the little thing. And give me one moment to make an adjustment. All right. <laughs> I forgot about my little table here for for the timer. Can't forget about the timer. Um what else? And yes, Putin's cat, she has a very small part in Clue. Um, I don't think Clue is at all that great, but it's uh, high rated for some reason. Oh, really? I love Clue. It's really, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and yes, she plays the um, the song lady at the door. Not what they used to call those people. Um, they would come to your door and sing a song for you. And uh, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Lance, for uh, the uh, <laughs> all the love there. And uh, let's see. And um, Jeff says, uh, when I first heard of your channel, it was your voice. No video, retro nerd girl. I thought I like her voice. I imagined someone more like a the blonde girl from. 
oh, Chrome and Alliance. Ooh. <laughs> when I when I saw you, um, I was blown away. Compliments. Not hitting on you. Uh, I'm old enough to be your dad. <laughs> I'm 60 years old. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. And uh, yes, thank you. Well, te singing Telegram. Oh. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Room being so same. <laughs> okay. You guys are so adorable. Thank you. All right. Well, um, I'm, I'm going to, before we get to that part, oh no. Oh, okay. For a second, I was like, oh no, I need to uh, get this going. Um, but Moonbeam, you're not 60, are you? You're not. I think you're younger, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, all right. I'm just going to go over a couple of things uh, while, before the movie starts about the movie because we um, do adore this movie so much so let's let's get some uh, just some general information about it uh two rock and roll teens on the verge of failing for all of their classes are sent out on a quest to make the ultimate school history report after being presented with a time machine uh, yes, you can make one heck of a, a history report with a time machine, can't you? And so uh, we have got this PG-rated 1989 movie. It is only an hour and 30 minutes. Really great stuff here. Um, it's directed by Stephen Herrick, and it's written by Chris Matheson and Ed Solomon. Uh, stars Keanu Reeves uh, as... Uh, Ted, <laughs> Theodore Logan, and Alex Winter, who I absolutely adore. I think he's really uh, great. Uh, I still have yet to see a movie that he did called Freaks, I believe. And I heard that it's it's one of those like wacky off the wall movies, and I, I desperately want to see it so bad, but I can't seem to get a uh, a good handle on that movie to watch it. Uh, but he is playing Alex Winter is playing Bill S. Preston. He also uh, played a character, uh, one of the vampires in Lost Boys, which we also did a watch party for, and uh, was really, really cool in that. Uh, he's one of the cool kids. <laughs> and uh, Then we have the legendary George Carlin. Uh, uh, George Carlin, amazing legend, okay? And he's playing Rufus. Uh, a very groovy dude from the future. <laughs> and we have um, characters like Napoleon, Socrates, Billy the Kid, Freud, Genghis Khan, Joan of Arc, oh, Abraham Lincoln, Beethoven. Uh, really cool um, characters from our past making a, a presentation um, in modern day. 1989. We also have Bernie Casey playing Mr. Ryan, a uh, favorite, I would say, as far as uh, someone who sh shows up in a lot of movies. He doesn't always get a chance to have starring roles, but uh, he's definitely a staple in a lot of uh, Hollywood movies that we love so dearly. And um, that is uh, pretty much uh the the cast list right there and uh let's now begin to enjoy the movie all right let's see what if we um and um Oh, Joseph, you're so sweet. <laughs> As I consider retro nerd girl the daughter I never had. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. You're just amazing. And Putin's cat says age is less of an issue if you uh, have maintained yourself. Really, yeah. 
it was very good to maintain yourself as much as possible. And yes, Putin's cat uh, and Lance, the Lost Boys, Alex is in those movies. Did anybody happen to see the movie Freaks? Uh, I, I want to I, I see that crazy movie. It looks really interesting in a, in a dark, dark humor way. Um, and when he says, um, uh, and uh, I, I first saw it as a grade school watch party, now as a retro watch party. Oh, cool. <laughs> so crates. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Putin's cat says, I highly recommend the sequel. And then after a few years, the third movie. Yes, the sequel was actually really good. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the third one yet, and um, uh, there may be some trepidation on my part because of some details I found out about the story that I didn't uh, exactly love hearing about. And uh, Dan Candy is here. How are you, Dan Candy? How are you? <laughs> so good to see you. And uh, let's see. <laughs> um let's see and putin's cat says the famous aging guy is in this too die hard big trouble in little china lethal weapon al uh al leung i think let's see oh i just closed it out but yeah he's he, i think you're right about that he um was in pretty much every movie and uh he he just was uh one of those guys who did a lot of physical stunts that were incredible like fighting in the fighting scenes so they hired him for like everything and um yeah another legend another legend okay and moving says he saw freaks oh cool And Putin's cat says he Brandon Lee fought him in rapid fire. So cool. And I've got um, marriage proposals in the chat. <laughs> and, uh, Jeff says, I, <laughs> never ask a woman her age or weight, and certainly never ask if she's pregnant. She may not be pregnant. <laughs> that's a that's a good rule. That's a good rule. Uh, <laughs> Putin's cat says the third one is hilarious, but it's modern. Yes, and uh, oh, um, Moonbeam says he's already started the video. He has to. Uh, he, uh, I need dinner. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get started too because I do have an appointment after this, and I don't want to rush off. Uh, so let me uh, make sure. Um, <laughs> And uh, let's see. All right. So, um, let's get this started. We get the timer clock on. It looks like it's uh, ready. Okay. Let's. It's probably going to take me a few moments, but um, let's get the countdown started. So the way it works, hopefully I explained. Did I explain this already? I have a copy and you have a copy and we're going to watch our copies together. I, while I'm watching, I might not be able to see all of your comments, but I do have an auxiliary computer over here where I can occasionally take a look at your comments and see what you're saying. But it, I can't guarantee it'll be always so. Let's see if it wants to work for me today. Yeah, there it is. Yes, so the, yes, okay. So I do have an auxiliary computer over there. I just set it up, made sure it was working. Um, and uh, I can look on there every once in a while while, um, while maybe there's a lull or something. Uh, so I am going to count down to uh, from five to one. And right after that, that's when you're going to press the button to play. All right. So it'll be one and then play. So 
five, four, three, two, one. I might be which is actually kind of good. I got a nice uh, Lions entrance. I got Nelson Entertainment. Interscope Communication Productions. Joyce and Murphy Productions. Uh, this is the future. This is not bad for 1989, right? And I think this is a practical thing. It isn't like a, a CGI thing, I don't think. Uh, this song I I haven't heard since probably the last time I saw this movie. It's not a song that really stands out barely that much. Tell me if you feel otherwise. I love it. He's just talking to the camera. <laughs> Many golf scores are way down. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're horrible. <laughs> <sighs> They're so bad that the <laughs> the instruments are starting to smoke. <laughs> San Dimas, California, nineteen eighty eight. Has anybody here been to San Dimas? Is it? I don't even know if that's a real place. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> I love how they always like have these conversations and then by the end they're like <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>
<laughs> so adorable. <laughs> Oh, oh! That answer was still wrong. <laughs> it's a trouble. Uh oh. Look at look at look at Keanu's face. <laughs> oh, he's not buying it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm already crying. <laughs> I don't know. They're going to flunk the class. Uh -huh. Man, <laughs> what is the thing I like about movies from the eighties? They it's a small thing. Always make it so much more intense to these characters. Immediately, like you feel for these kids. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you guys are saying. Darth Plato says, not going to lie, I absolutely would have flunked these two. Yes, they're uh, sadly, they were, they're not paying attention in class. Um. Oh, yeah, this is the linchpin of the movie. Oh, boy. <laughs> Poor dad. It's strange enough, but the two actors playing son and uh, father look a lot alike. Strangely. <laughs> oh, I love this part when they go to the future. It looks so cool. <laughs> they all look cool. 
I love that. I was like, I was waiting for my levitating chair. We should be levitating by now, right? <laughs> Be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. Nice. That is so cool. I really love the creativity of the storyline. Oh. <laughs> I remember Disney World. It's so funny that they're like, um, Misty, they're like, they have the hots for Misty, but she's. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, probably the worst, the creepiest part of the whole movie, but. Uh, he kicks his own son out of his own room. It's gross. <laughs> he asked. He asked Missy to the prom. I guess it's genetic, right? That that uh, they they all like the same lady, the dad and the kids. <laughs> But who wouldn't? She's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, look, the clouds separating. I got weird music. Doodly, doodly, doodly. <laughs> oh, the telephone booth. And the music in the background is so cool. Nice. This is, this is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> it's the future, their future selves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so cute. You know what I like about them? The, the energy. They have such good, like, bouncy en energy. Ugh. Friendly, fun energy. So cool. <laughs> just saying it out loud like why would we lie to ourselves is like really clever and hilarious <laughs> I love that. Um, what it, <laughs> gentlemen, where history isn't that a cool line? Um, Joseph again said, uh, If I was to see myself saying I was going on an adventure, I'd be like, Bring it on. Yeah, yeah. If I, I, my future self came in the door right now and said, You gotta do this thing. I'm like, I'm doing it. <laughs> I mean, the thing you don't want is yourself to come from the future to tell you not to do. Well, actually, you want some, you would want some of yourself to tell you not to do something, too. Either which way, a visit from yourself from the future always an A plus <laughs> in my book. <laughs> and Thomas is here. Hi, Thomas. Uh, good to see you. Says, uh, air guitars, because uh, <laughs> it's excellent. Yes. <laughs> oh, they must be, um, must be Napoleon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think this is Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon is just <laughs> hilarious. That was an accident. He wasn't supposed to go with them. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to go with them. That's, that's a total accident. Yeah. It's Napoleon, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Found a party. <laughs> oh man. I think it was a great idea, like to do a show and tell. <laughs> this little boy. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Deacon is like, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Just don't they look along one like strangely enough? So mean to him, isn't he? <laughs> Listen to that voice. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I didn't blow on anybody's speakers. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm excited. Deputy Van Halen. Gosh. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I just love him so much. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> and I love the fact that this uh this phone booth has an umbrella and <laughs> like a the skeleton of a an umbrella on the top <laughs> so cute a sort of the antenna new mexico 1879 <laughs> Yuck. Forgive me, guys. I have allergies today that are acting up. It's, it's spring. <laughs> but it, I don't think it matters what time of year I have allergies 24-7. But it's extra work in the, in the spring. This is pretty impressive. They have to create all of these different scenes for this movie. So just thinking as a filmmaker, having to put all of these different scenarios together and make it look authentic looking, except for, you know, the, our two main characters. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable.
Oh boy. <laughs> it's like these guys are weird. <laughs> oh man, I am, I am, uh, this is hilarious to me. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh gosh, that's that's harsh. Wow. Well, I'm sure he doesn't want to be brought back at that moment. <laughs> Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, Thomas says, oh, I always love the characters in this film. Right? Aren't they just so lovable and so sweet? Um, you know, Bill is always smiling on, on the most part. Uh, and they're both like a, almost always like in a positive mood. I try to turn things around even when it's dark. Um, let's see. Oh, Jeff says I'm a huge Eddie Van Halen enthusiast. Born May twenty, oh sorry, January twenty sixth, nineteen fifty five. Died October sixth, twenty twenty. Oh wow, yeah. And Jeff says Keanu Reeves is half Samoan, uh, Hawaiian, and Lebanese. This is true. This is true. A very unique mix. <sighs> oh, um, Putin's cat. Are you at Billy the Kid? We just passed Billy the Kid. Now we're at Socrates. Oh, so great. <laughs> Socrates. <laughs> 
Sam's <laughs> the hour class. So are the days of our lives. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is really great. <laughs> so great. <laughs> the locals are like, what the heck is going on there? The castle. <laughs> they put her playing like ball in the background. I hope you get, you see that <laughs> and just playing football. The princesses. <laughs> so, so, history report, not a babe report. <laughs> Those are historical babes. <laughs> Poon's cat. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're so silly. I love how they're like playing right in the middle of like a serious moment, a moment that should be serious. <laughs> oh no. That looks pretty bad. That looks pretty that looked pretty convincing to me. Didn't think we were gonna lose Ted so early in the story. At least he didn't get sent off to military school. <laughs> uh, it's the first time we see him get like serious.
Ah, it's still alive. <laughs> oh, so don't you like the fact that the Bill went after that dude? He was like, <laughs> oh, the princesses again. Uh, Putin's cat says uh, Keanu and Alex still hang out. That's so cool. And um, Thomas says, Who have ever? thought the cool Keanu Reeves dude would go on to make the Matrix and uh, be this awesome in the current future. Yeah, yeah, he's he's done well for himself, I think so. Very well. And <laughs> oh boy, they're in trouble. <laughs> like, they're like, no way. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> Royal ugly dudes. <laughs> <sighs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> oh man. This is really this is really serious. Oh no. <laughs> hey, oh no. Oh, yes, I forgot about this word. So oh, nice. I forgot how they got the princesses, though. Did they go back for them? Like, look at all the work that they put to get this, to make this look authentic. And I, I'm like, crazy more respect than usual um, for, for making this look so authentic, this part. I think like all these little adventures kind of are like their own like separate little movies like 
I got the Western, I got the medieval adventure. So cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you get the antenna? Oh, yeah, this is my favorite. And they go to the future. Oh, so cool. I like the music. It's their music. I love this part. And the music's just mwah, perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's um, Clarence Clemens in the middle there. Who cool, was a um, really, really great musician. And these are all the people from the future. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Like, that's so cool. That's their language. I mean, reading. <laughs> I love it. It's like. <laughs> It's already part of their language, their language. <laughs> yeah. I, I do love this because it it says that the boys are responsible for changing the world to the future like this, where music seems to be very, very important and like the basic principles of, you know, be, uh, be excellent to each other. <laughs> And party on, do it as a sort of a, a cool, like a cute, cool idea. Cool idea. <laughs> Napoleon. <laughs> Look at this one. Ew.
Ew. <laughs> But yeah, Napoleon is one of those standout characters. Well, they use a bad word. I don't remember them using a bad word. <laughs> Vienna, Austria, 1901. Oh yeah, for Freud. Look at that amazing beard. <laughs> Is it so I'm like trimmed up and, and nice? They call him Prude. Extra credit. Ah, nice. <laughs> this must be a dream. Who else is that? That was a cool hat. Oh, yeah. Castle, uh, Germany, 1810. Like you said, setting all this up, that's a lot of money spent on sets, costumes, everything to make this look just right. Like, if it was done today, this mostly would be CGI. <laughs> and don't you love, like, you probably didn't have the to save on um, having to animate this thing traveling for every scene like just using the flashing lights uh, basically translated the same thing <gasps> Joan of Arc flashing lights again <laughs> I love the music that they play right here <laughs> She's like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's right, Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but made it. According to what they said, that Genghis Khan was just like this. That he was he get drunk and have. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Oh, the White House, eighteen sixty three. Let's see what you guys are, <laughs> are saying here. Uh, Rufus is uh, the most, um, yes, he is. And Rufus is amazing. I love Rufus. Um, and Putin's cat says that was a transition, yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> when they panic, it's the best. Napoleon is just like out of his element, but he's like, I've got to figure out how to be like. <laughs> He's cheating now. <laughs> He's, resorted to, He's resorted to cheating. 
even though it was kids. <laughs> I like the arrogance. And I feel bad for him. Not where he's supposed to be. He was an emperor a few moments ago, <laughs> earlier that day, right? Earlier that day, he was a, he was a, an emperor, and now he's all alone. Oh no. <laughs> chewing gum, that's right. Ew. All those people in their chewing gum. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Save the humans. It's doing something. <laughs> I always manage it. I always imagine that those two cavemen were like earlier versions of Bill and Ted. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> oh, this is the part. Rufus is the best. And Putin's cat says one million people see no cavemen yet. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I just I do love the way they like completely sew up all of the loose ends here because that would have been a loose end She doesn't even think anything of this, like, time-traveling fellow. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> She's like, yeah, there's. Ah. <laughs> He's because he's about to eat the <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Beethoven is like he's like grooving with everybody. Oh yeah, this part is so cool. Oh my god, I love this part. I do. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are so brutally honest sometimes. <laughs> he just sneaks right on in. <laughs> Those little pajamas are so cute. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving it. He's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like skipping everybody. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> He's just loving it. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> oh, boy. They finished their <laughs> floor bees or whatever the floor bees. It's like, oh, yes, this looks like fun. Oh, yeah, this is the cool part of them. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, I can do something with this. <laughs> I love the look on his face. <sighs> He's about to tear it up. <laughs> Bully the kid and so Socrates. <laughs> you can't be like looking over at guys and not think that they're not going to come over and talk to you. Socrates. <laughs> there, yeah, typical girls from the eighties. <laughs> Oh boy. A dangerous weapon in his hand. What? What? He's insane. I say, if we have a problem. <laughs> Thomas says the keyboards were cool, weren't they? Oh my god. Oh yeah, Putin's cat says those old keyboards were so expensive in the eighties they were. Oh they were. Ha -ha. <laughs> Look at him. She's like Wait, let's show them how it's really done. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't hurt anybody. Look at that. Woo! Genghis Khan. I <laughs> believe the kid just shooting. <laughs> uh, and Bach just going crazy on those keyboards. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they all managed to get in trouble within minutes. Huh. I kind of feel bad for them, right? They don't they don't know this world. <laughs> Say what from <laughs> How dare they treat Vok like that? He's a genius. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> this guy, oh gosh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's past two o'clock. But they have they have until uh two forty five, right? So uh and uh <laughs> Prince Cat, it's computers. <laughs> Dad. Ah, see, I love this. That's clever. This is so clever. This is so clever. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> uh, Napoleon trying to get close to. Her. I love how um, Missy is like down to do whatever. Um, you know, she treats him like a son, even though she's, you know, hot mom, stepmom. Uh, but, you know, uh, lots of props to, to Missy for being a cool mom. I like I do like the way this movie messes around with time travel in a very interesting way. <laughs> His face is so cute. <laughs> oh, I just I can't get over how much they look alike too. And his dad and uh looks like him. And yet they don't look alike, right? Like like Keanu Reeves did not grow to look like that guy, but uh, there's just something very um, familiar about him: brown eyes, long face, long nose, small mouth. That that whole those features. Mm -hmm. 
villain. <laughs> Duck. Nice. Which makes you wonder if they failed in any time in the past and had to go back in time and fix it. <laughs> oh man. And Putin's cat says, uh, future paradox, matrix. Yeah. There's so, there's so many really cool concepts in this. No, you're not. Cool. <laughs> Here we go, the big show, guys. <laughs> Everybody knows Missy. <laughs> he looks so shocked. He's like, oh, um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I was like jumping.
Bill knows himself. Oh, William Blake Hall is here. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you, William. <laughs> also, let's uh Bill has some really incredible uh sword skills there. <laughs> For fun, for fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they added slipper. <laughs> Anchovy slipper. It's so cool to see the audience, all the people, the different hairstyles and <laughs> uh, wow, this is, yeah, this is a fun one. Uh, Thomas says, said Demas is totally a pocket phone booth dimension. Uh, where gnarly cool Rufus dudes think Bill and Ted are saviors of the future. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> I love that. Genghis Khan, he was a forefather of many. <laughs> so we're finding out. This actor does a great job, I think, of playing uh, Lincoln. Okay, now so now they have to go back in time to their own time. Um, I think they aced it. They aced their, their history test <laughs> or history um, final, if you will. So cool. I'll take a look Wow. It's gotta be something else. I've never gotten on stage and then people said we want more. <laughs> it's gotta be the best. 
They're still trying to make their videos so they can get Eddie Van Halen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna start crying. No. They are so cute. Stop it. I'm, I'm starting to cry. Oh. <laughs> A royal ugly dude. Oh man, Putin's cat says. Uh, so Bill and Ted running the lights to uh, right. Uh, and Thomas says, uh, "Be excellent, yes, be excellent, and party on." Yeah, I love that they revealed that at the end. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Rufus is the best. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the guitars. Ah, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love this part. So ruthless. <laughs> None of them know how to play any of the instruments. Great song, too, at the end. Just, uh, decrease the volume there for me. And let the music play, because it's still really awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, gosh, guys. Wow.
I I just remember how much I love this movie. It's so good. It's so good. You know, very clever movie that has a very simple premise with kids and it seems really dumb and stupid, but it's smart. It's a smart movie. It has layers and uh, it's also one of those movies where you hope uh, there, there was so much hope for the future for this season. Um, and that their music led to a better future, which is, is, a, is a futuristic uh, a look at the future where it's not a, an ap apocalypse, right? It's not <laughs> a dystopian world, but a very hopeful and loving and kind world where there's harmony. Um, oh, gosh. Wow. What a dream. What a dream. But um, still. Uh, something a, a movie that puts a smile on my face very much so um and putin's cat says uh oh, oh keith e says uh i think the film just ended yeah it just ended uh just now and uh they're playing the last ending song right now um and uh, like, like I said, the music, the music is great in this. I think the song that stands out the most to me is um, Two Heads Are Better Than One. And then there's, there's one other, but most of the other music has a lot of the same notes. And so it kind of gets lost in there. But it's that, you know, uh, it's got that, that beat and that, and those, uh, the guitars and everything is really great. And Putin's Cat says, I like the song at the end of the second movie. Yeah, the second movie at the end, it makes, I, I cried, like I sob. I sob at the end of that movie because of how beautiful it ends. And in my opinion, that is the end of the story. Like this, like from what I heard of the story for the third movie, doesn't really feel like it even is a t kind of like attached to any of these movies. Um, because they go completely off the um the idea. They 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 change the idea. So that that really is kind of a hard thing for me to kind of get used to or even imagine. So yeah, um the the two movies that they did, um, this one and the second one are are the ones I'm choosing to remain canon. Maybe one day I'll catch up to the last one and see what I think of it. But from what I heard about the story, I, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not interested in it. And, um, yeah, but this is really good stuff. This is good stuff. And Keith E says, a great movie. You should get lots of rewatches on this one. Oh, yes. Well, I hope so because it's such a good, it's a, such a good movie. And, um, I do love these watch parties. They, they do, um, I, I mean, I, I take part in them myself. Like after we're done, sometimes I'll, I'll rewatch it just to make sure, um, uh, to, to see any places where I could be better next time. It could improve the show. Uh, but I also look at it again um, and see like what the experience is like to watch the movie and hear the commentary. Because um, what I probably should start putting on the titles is that this is a commentary if you know if you're not live because there's something about watching live with me and then there's another experience of watching it recorded so uh yeah 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 and thomas says it's one of my favorite films growing up even now uh, yeah it's really great i i think this is one that it i don't get to watch very often but if i really uh if it, you know i think about it i'd love to watch this once a year at least you know make it a nice little weekend uh, uh, of watching the two uh, Bill and Ted movies, um, and um, yeah, like one day I will watch the the last one. It's it's just gonna take me a little time to get there. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> set yourself down and 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 get ready for not loving everything, but try to take what you can that you might love from that film. Because uh, for 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 me, when it comes to films, I try to be as fair 
to them as possible. Uh, even though um, there may be some things in there I don't like, I try to be fair. I try to be fair when I uh, consider their, them. So that's why I'm, I'm very concerned about how I go into watching the third one. I don't want to go in there with a whole bunch of anger. Um, and I want to go in there and be ready to like give it a fair shot. And um, Putin's guess is we don't know how far the future is. Ooh, we can put that. Can we just quote that? Like, we don't know how far the future is. Beautiful quote right there. Um, many things can happen after the end of the world. Maybe someone finds their dusty record in a discount store and it unites humanity. Ooh, so you say that even further into the future, that we may get this alternative world. I like, I like, I like how you're thinking. I like how you're thinking. Um, and Moonbeam says, "Gotta go. Ciao for now. Be excellent to each other. Awesome and party on, <laughs> party on, Moonbeam, party on." And um, uh, Keith E says, "Live for today. The future is not guaranteed." Yes. The future is not guaranteed. And uh, Putin's cat says the third movie is still hilarious. Ooh, that gives me hope. Oh, that gives me a lot of hope. Okay, well, I'm going to put it on my list to take a, a look at it soon. And the movie says 15 days left on my gift. Uh, uh, you mean your membership? Uh, 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 that you... Uh, your your membership your gift membership i i hope i wonder if that that's what you mean probably uh and jeff says uh uh with ai keanu could have played it in it with an ai self it was re uh if it was remade uh it won't be and uh putin's cat says rufus says their music eventually unites humanity and that's yeah that's why i was really excited about this kind of a movie this kind of future that they were going to develop and that we were going to get closer to it as the movie got closer to that future and so it's sort of disappointing that they changed gears totally and so i'm like like i'm still gonna give putin's cat um i'm, I'm gonna still give um the third movie a, a good shot i'm gonna go in there and try to uh, look at it objectively, and I love the way you're phrasing it. It may be still be time to to change that, and and that was one of the things I loved about this the story. Um, and I, again, for a story that seems like it's really silly and lighthearted and fun and maybe even stupid, it <laughs> it it had a lot of layers of things that I really adored, and also like layers of smart writing i think uh as far as like writing a story um creating plot holes and filling those holes and also like as there were lots of story places where it could really get messy and they they went back and fixed those with their explanation of whatever that explanation was and um it and you know there may still be some more plot holes in it but on the most part the bigger story ideas were really well done you know like i think one area where it's kind of weird is he says <laughs> ted says um trash can and uh this trash can just falls from the ceiling well how does it just fall from the ceiling uh so yeah it, it, it's one thing to lay in a prop somewhere that you plan but it's another thing to like have something just show up out of thin air. <laughs> so, and they did that kind of thing in the, the second movie as well. But um, it, if somehow it was charming. And Keith E says, uh, is the third one real life or is it a cartoon? Oh, it's real life. Um, there was a cartoon and there was a TV show. Um, and. Uh, yeah it, it was uh, there were both there was both a cartoon and there was both a tv show uh and not they weren't as good as the actual um movies but they were entertaining uh and jeff says thank you for the movie and a great company 
everyone. Thank you for being with us today. And I'm so uh, congratulations on getting the memberships. I'm looking forward to uh, that you will be able to look at some of the back catalog um, things that we have in memberships and seeing you around more often. So glad that you're here. And um, let's see. Uh, Cat says Bill and Ted face the music is is a real thing. Uh, and um, Jeff says I'll be back. <laughs> That's so sweet. And uh, let me see if I want to make sure I get everybody's goodbyes today. Um, so I have your goodbye highlighted. I will be adding it to the closing. And Thomas says that I love the character of Death. Oh, me too. He's so charming. And uh, Putin's cat says, uh, I also like the parts of the fourth Matrix movie. It made you wonder what the heck was going on. Oh, okay, yeah. I um, I did not see that one. Um, the Matrix movies for me really lost its charm after the first one. But um, I did, I did watch the other ones, and I thought they were okay. I didn't hate them or anything. But I, I, I think the best of the Matrix movies with the most message, if you will, the most creative ideas to me happen in the first one. I really adored that first one so much. Um, and uh, and Dan Candy says, uh, buy retro, got to run to the store. Okay, well, you have a good time today um have a good evening and the rest of your weekend i'm so glad that you were able to hang out with us today so awesome good to see you and um uh putin's cat says the third matrix movie was not good oh yeah i i i, I kind of after this after the second after the first one i was like no this is this is interesting this is cool i like it um, didn't hate any of them. I, I don't think I've seen a, hate, a Matrix movie that I hated. I just, the first one was just so outstanding. And, oh, yes, thank you, Keith. He's reminding me I have another gig. So I say, okay, Retro, get ready for your next gig. Thank you, Keith. E. You're so, you keep me on track. Thank you so much, Keith. E. Um, I, let me give you a special thank you for all that you do. Thank you. You know how much I, I just love you so much. So thank you so uh, much for always being here and uh, being just 100% awesome. Here you go. This is my special thank you. You're amazing, Keithy. Thank you. Um, let me remove my little banner here. And Putin's cat says, uh, the second one had some interesting effects. That thing with the architect. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that was a great scene. I love that scene. Um, you know, not particularly, like I said, the, 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 uh, there's, I didn't hate any of that stuff. I like, I really did like, there were, there were lots of standouts, uh, standout moments. Um, the CGI kind of like thing was, I think it was just too much. There was so much, too much. Like I saw and I recognized the CGI in the first movie, but it seems like the second movie just kind of went a little bit too far. And they just kept going with it for the rest of the. And I was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't mind watching animated movies. It's just great. But um, the Matrix, I thought the first movie said something special about being a human being who was uh, being true to themselves, and each person had something special. Uh, in us to stand out and, and and not saying that we're all like we're all special or uh or i'm special or you're, you're special but you are because you have your own experiences but also it had something to say about the power that we have as people to change 
things that we see that are, are not conducive for us, like governments and policies and, um, and, and things that, that require us to like stand up against a larger force. And so that's where I thought they were going with. And I'm, it, it, it was, it wasn't the message, but that was, that was what I took from it was, was sort of like, um, stand up and show people who you who you are and what you can do um but it was really it was really weird um and uh poon's cat says audrey i'm not sure who audrey is <laughs> uh the only audrey i know of is the um audrey i know audrey hepburn and audrey the plant um from the little shop of horrors i love i love that audrey <laughs> Oh, and then there's Audrey too. Uh, he, he says, "Oh, thank you, Retro. You're still the best. Excellent. Oh, you're you're <laughs> so sweet. Thank you." And uh, Putin's cat says, "Well, uh, when we had twenty minutes of um, um, but then we had the twenty minute or oh, uh, in Zion. Um, yeah, I don't know, like." Um, a Zion is like, um, uh, definitely, um, one of those places I was disappointed with Zion. Okay. <laughs> I was very disappointed with Zion. I, I wanted Zion to be something else and said it was, I don't know. It, it didn't hit the places for me in the right, uh, in the right way. Um, but um, thank you, Putin's cat, for your kind words. You're you're really nice to me. Uh, <laughs> and um, says uh, they were dancing in Zion while Neo and Trinity were alone. It seemed to last forever. Yeah, yeah, and was not my favorite. It was not my favorite. Oh, Corey's comedy channel. So good to see you. Says uh, Keith knows his stuff. RNG is awesome. Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh my god so great to see you um guys if you have a small youtube channel um and or a big one and you want to um commiserate with other people who have uh questions about youtube or just want to talk about youtube hit up Corey's channel on a on a on a sunday Be besides that just hit up Corey's channel for a little for some great laughs uh, he's got some great comedy on there, but on Sunday he does a little show where he gives uh, he has a spotlight for a specific channel, and then um, which is usually a small channel, and also he um, uh, I will ask answer any questions or we can share information in the chat about things we know. Like there were some people who had questions about Streamyard, and I was able to like um chime in and say a little something about what i knew and uh cory um is is been doing these live streams so he has some knowledge so it's it's really a great place to uh commiserate if you are somebody who uh has a small channel and is looking to try to grow your channel um and um and and it's just great for us to band together, right? Because we're not getting any help from big YouTube or big YouTubers, um, but um, it's nice to kind of chat with other people that are are in need of help, and especially like people who are just starting their channels. Yeah, this is great stuff. So, uh, Corey, that is amazing what you're doing on your channel. Please keep up the great work and. Um, Look, uh, Corey, yes. <laughs> you're the guy. Thanks a million, aren't you? You're the best. Yeah, oh, no. Uh, you're the best. <laughs> and just keep just keep on doing what you're doing. I, I love the fact that you have, you're still doing the comedy and you're also doing that one special thing on Sundays for small YouTube's um, channels. It'll be great. Um, uh, and uh, Keithy says, I will put a link to St Corey's channel in the chat. Um, yeah, yeah. And do I have a link for your channel? Uh, sometimes I have these things handy. Um, I can do that right quick. If, I, if you give me a minute, I can put his direct link into 
the chat because Corey, your channel comes right up when I type in uh, Corey's C. Corey C, and it comes right up. That's really good. So copy link address. Um. And there you go, guys. Um, there is Corey's channel and the link there. It'd be great. And um, Putin's cat says, I'm working on 60 subs. Well, yeah, head over to Corey's channel and talk about your channel and, you know, what what's on the channel. And um, uh, you never know. There may be some, some people you can network with and stuff like that. And uh, even, even Keith E. has some uh some subs he's got his channel <laughs> keithy you're the best <laughs> um and uh yeah <laughs> um and putin's cat says uh nonsense is on my channel ah well just it, like i said you if you're interested in just talking about getting more serious about youtube um definitely um take a look at what he's got over there it's still it's still great um but while uh just want to give you guys an update on what's going on on this channel for next week uh or well, the upcoming days so um in an hour or two at, at about seven o'clock i believe or six or seven let me double check 7 p.m i'm going to be on lorena creole's channel we are going to be looking at the movie Shrek, which is really cool. I, I I don't remember this movie. Oh, hold on. I I may have seen it once, <laughs> and so I'm not quite sure if I've seen the movie totally. And that's kind of um, it's it's all very hazy. So I I may not have seen this movie. So it may be my very first time seeing the movie. Um, and, and with that being said, um, it, it will be on Lorena Creole's channel at 7 p.m. tonight. Um, then, tomorrow, if you are a Patreon member, do look out on your Patreon um for a little video update on what's happening on the channel every sunday i do a report for my patreons they also get early access to my bigger videos and um and that kind of thing and patreon directly supports me supports in this channel and get supplies pay for bills so on and so forth get a coffee that kind of thing <laughs> um so um that is um patreon uh, then on Mondays, every Monday, I will have a video for my members. So look out for, for new members, people who got memberships today. Uh, do look out for a video coming on Monday. It is always a surprise and a secret. <laughs> and on Tuesday, uh, guys, last week, last Tuesday was a bust. We're going to uh, start over this Tuesday with Gargoyles. It will be our week seven and we're going to go over season two, episode 13, 14, 15, and 16. And I will be doing that with Mama Bear Art Dom. It will be a lot of fun for us. We love the series. And it's actually really, um, it's, it's very gratifying, very a very smart series. And after watching shows like Ahsoka, and um, which wasn't totally terrible, but wasn't my favorite. Um, Secret Invasion, uh, all those m newer series that really left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I am just so pleased to watch something that w is completely gratifying. And the story is just so good. And this is a, a Disney product from 1994. So very interesting um, how good that is. And I'm so glad to be able to share that with you on Tuesdays. Um, 
now Wednesday, I do believe there may be, um, I, I usually do a show with Lorena Creole on her channel. Uh, you typically um, at 4 p.m. East uh, Central. So I'm not sure what that time would be for you, uh, but it would be um, her Spice Lounge that I uh, usually visit her on. And I may be doing something else on Wednesdays. I'll, I'll let you guys know if, if something comes up. And also look out for Thursday, one of the membership videos will be going live for the entire population to see. So I will be showing uh, one of my first time watching videos live on this channel. Also, um, not live, but um, <laughs> it, will be, it, will be, it will be posted on this channel for the public to see. And uh, what's next? Saturday. The movie that we're watching next Saturday is called Things to Come. It's 1936. You could probably see it on YouTube because it's uh, it's a black and white movie. It's free, but it's very intensive. It's a dra It's more like drama, sci-fi, and um, I hope you guys like it. If you haven't seen it, um, if you have seen it, uh, definitely. I hope, I hope that this is something you like, and I, I just wanted to get into a classic sci-fi story that was kind of deep and chunky for us to kind of sink our teeth into and it, it is it also I would say one of the classics as um and that completes the entire week as far as watch parties go let's see what else is on the horizon okay so I've got Dark City The Great Gatsby Sword of the Valiant um and, um, ooh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Which one of them sound good to you? Dark City, great, The Great Gatsby, Sword of the, Sword of the Valiant, and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I don't know, the one that's like peeking to me right now is Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I love that movie. Um, let me know if that will work for you. Uh, which, which one? Sounds the most interesting to you. And let's see if I can uh, get get your. Uh... <laughs> wow, you guys, hang on. Uh, Corey said, "Like I said, you're too kind. Keith is a funny uh, guy. Love that." Love what you do, RNG. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Corey. Um, and Keith E says that he just subscribed to Putin's cat. Putin's cat. <laughs> You've got some some more su subscribers. <laughs> and um, Keith E says, Retro, you need to get going so you can um, get eaten a replacement meal shake and and get ready. Yes, I should. Um, get going very soon. And William Blake Hall says uh, the power ball ballad of Shrek is an all star by Smash uh, is all star by Smash Mouth. The like the ending of Mystery Men. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I I know of those things, but yeah, not. <laughs> I'm definitely a retro nerd girl. <laughs> um, and. Uh, and let's see. And Keith E says his nickname as a baby was Baby Sputnik. Was Sputnik, <laughs> not Baby Sputnik. And hold my dual, hold my dual shock is here. Oh my goodness, so great to see you. Hold my dual shock reviews. Um, this is a great channel, guys. Uh, if you like looking at, um, uh, you know, some of the more modern reviews of some some of the things that are out there right now these guys are doing such a great job and um their live streams are lit i love it i wish i could like watch their live streams it just seems like the timing doesn't always match up but yes love these guys uh if you ever get a chance to head over to hold my dual shock reviews they're great and um 
Uh, William Blake Hall says, uh, things to come, great ending speech. Wasn't it great? Yes, there's so many fantastic things that, um, that, uh, uh, that, that are in that movie. And Homa DualShock Review says, uh, love the Bill and Ted movies. Yeah, they're really great. They're really great. Oh, another thing I wanted to tell you guys about Homa uh, DualShock Reviews. They have a background uh, similar to mine, but it's way cooler. It's way cooler. <laughs> it's way cooler. I was like, wow, that, now that's a background. <laughs> so I love their background. Uh, and Poon Scott says, uh, do, do you have a criteria for a movie? Right, you're not a sci-fi fan to see anything other uh, older than dirt. Um, yeah, I like I like um, sci-fi fantasy. Those are those are my two main things that I like. But every once in a while, I'll, I'll throw in a Casablanca or uh, or so, something something like that. Or you never know. It depends. And um, William Blake Hall says retro between things uh, to come. And 1946's Beauty and the Beast, you are really bringing the, uh, the classes, yes. <laughs> the, the classics, yes. Um, yeah, I'm really um, enjoying them too. So we'll see. Um, I, I do love uh, old black and white movies. They're really a lot of fun to see how they did special effects back then and even though 1946's Breathing and the Beast did not have to be black and white it just is like uh incredible um uh, the, the 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 illusions that are in this movie is just insanely good um and uh and Putin says not dirty rotten okay well I've got to watch it sometime I do love that movie but we will we won't watch it next week so uh, things to come. We got one vote for um, things to come. William Blake Hall says, I'm in for uh, Gatsby and, and, and for Dark City. Okay. All right. And Hold My Dual Shock Review says, uh, Dark City is great, but Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is hilarious. Isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> it is so good. Um, and Putin's Cat says, Have you seen three? Uh, the uh, three and four Musketeers, uh, 1973 and 1974. Um, yes, I, I watched them when they came when they came out. <laughs> I watched them. Those are those are great. Um, and and let's see. Uh, and hold my dual shock says, uh, so glad to catch you live, Retro Nor Girl. Yes, I, I'm so glad too. And and I'll I'm I will definitely catch you guys. I'm trying to make sure that I try to catch you guys live because I, I keep missing it because of my schedule, but I it's such a good show. You guys have such a good show, and your commentary is just so on point. Uh, I, every time I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's how I feel about it too. So it's kind of nice to um hear other people with the same um like thought processes and and just general um thoughts about some of the stuff that that are going on uh hopefully um yeah i, I definitely want to talk a lot about a lot of the more, more modern things sometimes too but i i uh, i don't know I'm, I'm in this kind of weird place where i'm like Modern retro, modern retro. <laughs> William Blake Hall says retro, just like um, what? Uh, Bell, <laughs> Bell. <laughs> you need someone to say to you retro, <laughs> retro. Yes, <laughs> it's so funny because um, in that version of Beauty and the Beast, uh, that I uh, it, this is supposed to be a secret, but I will reveal that I did do that one. It's in the um, the members lounge, if you will. Uh, it it was the way that the character kept saying "Bell" is just so incredible, uh, and uh, leaves an impression on you because he's like "Bell." It's like <laughs> it just he, he's just so passionate about her. It's just really insane um insanely good insanely good and Corey's comedy channel says um i like the black and white movies too yeah they're really cool what's your favorite one 
and uh, <laughs> one of them says, all right, Roger, I am going to go um, 2688. Uh, go, I'm going to go to 2688 to see if, uh, well, if we're as big as wild stallions. <laughs> and uh, Corey's, uh, Corey says, um, uh, can I hit the like button? Just did. Yeehaw. <laughs> yes, yes. It, and thank you for doing that. Uh, if you, when you hit the like button, that really helps uh, YouTube recognize that uh, people like this video or this particular live stream and they will I put it out for more people to see my content. So I could stick around longer. <laughs> and uh, Keith, Keith he says, uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is uh, frame free currently on Prime. It's free. Oh, really? Okay. All right. So we're going to put that. We're going to put that on the list. Um, we're just uh, going to toggle it so that way at least Putin's cat will be able to hang out with us for next week. Uh, <laughs> and so um, Moonbeam says, uh, retro. <laughs> And Boone's God says, uh, maybe not sci-fi, but some of my favorite movies ever made is 1941-1979, uh, written by Back to the Future guys, directed by Spielberg, music by John Williams, starring many famous, fam many famous faces. Oh, yes, I heard about 1941. It's, it was a, um, wasn't, didn't do very well at the box office, but it's highly acclaimed. Um, and uh, thank you so much, William Hall. Blake Hall just became like 22. <laughs> thank you. And so guys, I think that is gonna be the end of my session today. This is really, that, this was really a lot of fun. Uh, you guys helped me put the party in Watch Party. This is fantastic. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, if you have any last comments, do um, put them in. I am. Uh, gonna play a little like two minute video so that way you can write your um goodbyes to uh people in the chat that you've met today and um let's see where's my little outro there we well, there we go all right so without further ado guys i bid you adieu and i will see you later Retro Nerd Girl, you are for for takeoff.